my name is Nicole and I'm one of the assistant horsemen and riding instructors at Wendy Hill Farm. This video is going to be about how we tie our horses. We do a knot that's called the bank rubber's knot. I've seen a few videos of it on YouTube, but I'm going to show you guys how we do it as well. Our horse is going to be on the right side, so I'm going to throw this halter over the rail on, the, on my right. Now the first thing to consider is how long do you want to tie your horse? So on average, you might tie your horse about an arm's length. However, the height that the rail or the ring that you're tying to and the height of your horse will cause this length to be variable. So you're welcome to adjust it as needed. So here's the knot. So first, I make a loop. This loop, I go from behind, I come over top, and I fold it in half. Then, my right hand holds the horse's rope and half of the loop, while my left hand takes the tail of the rope over top and above my right hand. Now here's a really critical moment that you do not reach your hand through here to grab this loop because if the horse pulls, your fingers will get stuck. So what I like to do is push a loop up through here and now my right hand is already naturally on the horse's rope. So I'm going to pull that tight and that's my knot. And you'll see that if I grab the tail and I pull this knot, it comes completely off of the rail. So that's the difference between this knot and your normal slip knot, is that it comes completely off of whatever it was tied to, and that's also why it's a great trailer knot. So again, loop, come from behind, fold in half, right hand holds the horse's rope and half of the loop, left hand takes the tail up, across to the right, and around the back. Do not reach your hand through, push another loop up through from the tail, now your right hand is naturally on the horse's rope, so pull that tight. There's your loop. Now to complete this knot, you want a daisy chain down like this. So a daisy chain is where you reach through, make a loop, reach through, make a loop, reach through, make a loop. And at the very end, you want to make sure that you take the tail through the last loop. Because if I leave the tail hanging like this and I pull down, the whole thing's going to come undone. So. When I come to the end here, I want to take my tail and put it through the last loop. And you don't have to pull it super tight, but give it a little tug. That way, if the horse starts playing with this, it will not untie itself. So then, when I go to undo this loop, I grab from behind, or this whole knot, I grab from behind, pull the tail, and just keep pulling, and the whole thing comes off the rail. This is my favorite way to tie my horses. Like I said, it's a great trailer knot, it's great on the hitching rails, and it's great on the rings. If you have any questions, please leave a comment below and make sure to subscribe to our channel. Thanks.